Hi everyone, I'm back with an update on my latest video, which um, I did because a user asked me how to create a seamless stroke around the text. As you can see here, he was having this problem uh, when he was uh, using geometry or operations to to separate the, the letters. If you want to know more about what I'm talking about, you can check my former video. Uh, he was experiencing some uh, issues and well, it was quite hard to to get the effect. Um, in the forums, there are many users that kindly replied and all of them gave different solutions to this problem. I came up with my own solution and one of the last entries after my video was posted was about a user that came up with a better solution than mine. I really liked it. It was really good. But uh, this week uh, I was still checking this matter and I found out that actually Affinity Designer can do this without any workaround. So that's the good news. I'm going to show you exactly how. So the first thing I want to show you is the solution that this other user came up with after me and because I liked it, just because it's good to know things. I'm going to show you uh, a script stroke. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the stroke itself. Because you saw it was exactly like this one, uh, it was not seamless, it's all overlapping. What he was proposing was you select the, um, the script, you command C, command V, copy it, so you have one on top of another, you select them both, and now you come to geometry or operations and click add in such a way that you have only an outline, actually you see nothing <laughs> in there, but it's still there, okay, and now you just add a color to it, a width to it, you can put some other color for the fill and that's basically it. Okay, it's a good solution, it's faster than the one I was proposing and I have to say that this is the solution I would choose above the one I'm going to show you now which is the automatic way that Affinity Designer has to do this because yes, finally I found a way to do it automatically but there is a little bit of a um, Probably not say unless somebody else knows how to do this better or knows how to make a uh, come up with a solution. I would use this method because the next one has a downside. So as you see, this is a it's, this is not a font anymore. This is all a curve. So when you send this for printers or whatever, in this case, I would just recommend this method. I'm going to show you how to do exactly this in an automated way. So. Pick the text tool, you come here and say script stroke. And as you can see, I'm having my font and all the stroke with no overlaps. How is this possible? Okay, so if you come to stroke, to the panel stroke, you see here that I have checked this draw behind fill. This is the way that Affinity Designer is going to allow you to do exactly this effect. Let's see what happens if I uncheck it. Well, we have, I'm gonna make it thinner for you to see better. We have again the same the same problem we were um, experiencing before, see here. But again, if I check draw behind fill, this is solved. So, okay, yeah, mm, now we know we are able to do it, but there is a little downside to it. If I now want to convert this to curves in order to pass it to a printer or whatever, I come here, convert to curves, and what happens? We again have the same overlapping. So up to you. If uh, you're going to send uh, fonts to someone and they don't have the font and they need you to to transform it to, to curves, use this first method. If you don't care about this uh, issue because um, the printer has the font or because you don't need to send it for printing, you can perfectly use this method by clicking draw behind fill. Okay, so we learned something new, even myself, <laughs> because well, um, you know, as I said in my previous video, sometimes I just don't know things, I just look for solutions and this particular exercise exercise has been really, really good for me to learn new things and it forces me also to, you know, think and try to understand better what I'm doing, what I need to do, how to get what I need. 
So yeah, if you have any doubt, I will try my best to help you out. And maybe, well, you know, um, it's also good for me because as I said, I didn't know about these options. I had seen it before, but you know, I didn't come across this particular problem. So it was really good. Um, now, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you like these two new solutions. Um, I will do, oh, a script stroke. Great. <laughs> Uh, I will try to, you know, um, do my next video as soon as I find some time. Um, and yeah, like it, comment, share, subscribe, you know, the usual. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.